Hello everyone. In the last class we have discussed what is mean by reproductive health. What are the problems we are facing in India to maintain this reproductive health and what are the strategies to overcome the problems. So in today's class we will study about what is population, how the population is increasing and what are the methods, how can we prevent it. Okay. So firstly what is demography? It is a statistical study of human population. Okay. Now census, census means Janaganati in Kannada. So uh, the procedure of systematically collecting the information about human population. Okay. Systematically the statistical data is connect, uh, collected and this procedure is called as census. So um, the Indian government is putting a lot of efforts to control the population and to uh, maintain the population, right? So every 10 years the census is done and the first census was carried out in the year 1871 and the 15th uh, census was recently recorded that is 2011, okay? So uh, in 2011 the population of India was 1.2 billion and the most populated state was Uttar Pradesh and the least populated state was Sikkim according to the data which is given in the 2011 census okay so it is about India so when we talk about world's population in 1900 it was 2 billion and again in 2000 it was 6 billion okay and 2001 uh, within one year it was 7 billion uh, what did I say 2 billion 6 billion to 7 billion now the reasons why this sudden increase in the population is taking place not only in India it is not just the problem of India the whole world when we compare the population is increasing day by day and um, even there is a doubling time doubling time means uh, the time taken uh, by the time taken to double the population so from 1 billion to uh, double it 2 billion 2 billion to 4 billion so to double the population the years taken was 33 years but because uh, due to the population explosion the population is doubled in every 33 years okay and nowadays uh, uh, according to the recent data it is 30 years okay the doubling period is also reduced to 30 years from 33 years to 30 years so uh, what are the reasons why the population explosion is taking place what are the reasons the first being better health service okay so in the previous years the ancient period there were no medical facilities and the technologies uh, because of the recent advancement in the technology in the medical field nowadays we have a lot of uh, medical services which are available because of that also the death rate is decreasing okay so uh, we cannot uh, control the birth rate because the birth is taking place continuously and when we are reducing the death rate then obviously what happens the population explosion takes place and also the most important reason being the decreased infant mortality rate infant means the baby okay during parturition during delivery of the ba uh, baby uh, usually in the uh, ancient periods the infant used to die mortality means death rate mortality rate is death rate so there is a lot of decrease in the infant mortality rate and also maternal mortality rate maternal means uh, the pregnant lady who is giving birth to a baby so because of the best advancement in medical field the infant mortality rate that is imr and maternity uh, I mean maternal mortality rate that is MMR both IMR and MMR are reduced so this is also one of the reasons why the population is exploding. so uh, and also the government has uh, supported or motivated some couples by saying according to family planning program the, there is a slogan 
हम दो हमारे दो मीन्स टू चाइल्ड चिल्ड्रन आर सफिशियंट फॉर वन कपल बट बिकॉज ऑफ द रीस नाउ द रिसेंटली ओनली वन चाइल्ड इज सफिशियंट ओके एंड द गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग सम स्पेशल फैसिलिटीज टू द कपल विच आर हैविंग अ सिंगल चाइल्ड ओके सो द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो पुटिंग मोर एफर्ट टू कंट्रोल द पॉपुलेशन नाउ विल स्टडी द मेथड्स ऑफ कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन ओके वॉट इज मीन बाई कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन इज नथिंग बट प्रिवेंशन ऑफ प्रेग्नेंसी ओके टू प्रिवेंट द प्रेग्नेंसी दैट मीन्स कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन सो वॉट एवर द मेथड्स और वॉट एवर द डिवाइसिस वी आर यूजिंग टू स्टॉप द प्रेग्नेंसी टू प्रिवेंट द प्रेग्नेंसी इज कॉल्ड एज कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव ओके contraception means prevent prevention of pregnancy and contraceptives are whatever the mode or whatever the devices we are using to stop or prevent the pregnancy is called as contraceptives so there are so many contraceptives available in the market uh, but we'll study what a, which is the ideal contraceptive to use okay so the characteristic features of ideal contraceptive is easily available it should be easily available and no side effects and the third is very important that is irreversible that means it should be temporary the effect of contraceptive should be temporary to uh, stop the pregnancy between the gap between the two children or uh, any temporary gap so and they should be very effective so these are the four characters of ideal contraceptives now there are various methods of contraception uh, so to stop to prevent the pregnancy there are so many methods the first one is natural method okay so uh, natural method means uh, for this to follow this method we need to have a detailed knowledge of ovulation and menstrual cycle okay so uh, the 14th day you have studied the menstrual cycle in the previous lesson that is human reproduction the ovulation takes place the release of egg takes place in the 14th day so from 14th day after 2 3 days the egg will remain in the uterus i mean uh, not uterus sorry fallopian tube so this is the uterus fallopian tube and here are the ovaries which release the release of egg from the graafian follicle the rupture of egg fully developed egg from the graafian follicle is called as ovulation you have studied it so once the egg is released here the female gamete so it remains in the fallopian tube for 2 to 3 days once it it is released on the 14th day then 15th 16th and 17th so this is the fertile period what we can say this is the period where the possibility of fertilization is high at high risk so uh, to avoid the in sexual intercourse or the coitus during these days can stop the pregnancy okay so this is very simple what uh, people need to understand is just the ovulation period and after 3 days of ovulation that is the 14th day to 17th day uh, there should not be any coitus or sexual intercourse now the second method is withdrawal method or coitus interruptus okay these uh, definitions are very important remember this <coughs> a uh, coitus interruptus means uh, you should not uh, deposit the sperm or the semen in the uterine i mean to say in the vagina okay so uh, to uh, what we need to do is the semen or sperm should not be deposited in the uh, vagina now the lactation amenorrhea that means uh, this is a period where and this is only applicable in the ladies who are uh, lacta uh, who are in the lactation period okay you have studied what is lactation that means the production of milk in the mammary glands okay after parturition to nourish the baby the uh, after parturition the women who has de delivered a baby uh, they are in the lactation period 
and during this period there is no menstruation so there is no menstruation means there is no ovulation so there is no egg for fertilization so this is also the safe period where uh, the woman will not get pregnant okay so these are the three uh, methods of contraception which who which are natural now there are the fourth method that is barrier method okay barrier methods means uh, there are some barriers there are some devices which can stop the fertilization process so if there is no fertilization no implantation obviously there is no pregnancy now the first is condoms okay so there are some uh, there are condoms for both male and female so by using condoms we can pr prevent the pregnancy the second is cervical cap and diaphragm these are the barriers uh, which are used by only the female okay the, but the condoms are available for both men and women so third method is very important that is intrauterine devices okay which is shortly written as iud okay intrauterine devices so uh, under intrauterine devices there are three more okay we'll study one by one with example non mediated or oh, sorry non medicated iud that means uh, this is just a, a copper containing loop or uh, the loop which is not having any medication any medicine or any hormone it is not releasing anything it is just a device which is put in the uh, uterus to prevent the pregnancy for example lipers loop the second one is copper releasing iud's example copper t and multi load 375 so the what is the function of copper okay these are devices which are inserted in the uterus what they will do they uh, they release the copper so the copper because of the copper the motility of sperm means uh, the motion uh, the movement of sperm is decreased or reduced and uh, the also the death of sperm takes place because of the copper which is present in the device so the intrauterine device which is uh, copper releasing is copper t and multi load 7 uh, sorry 375 so this is most commonly used copper t is most commonly used and next is hormone releasing iud's the iud's which are inserted in the uterus okay so th they are inserted in this way so what happens once the sperm come here it cannot reach the ovum or the egg which is present in the fallopian tube so this is the main function of iud intrauterine device which is inserted in the uterus of the female obviously so uh, hormone releasing iud is example lng20 and progestose so what they do is they release hormone uh, the hormone so you know that every month the female uterus prepare itself to hold a okay to hold a embryo okay so these hormones what they do they will not favor any favorable conditions they they'll not provide any favorable condition in the uterus for the implantation of the uh, embryo developing embryo so if there is no proper endometrium is there in the uterus then the baby can uh, the embryo cannot implant and obviously there is no pregnancy so to prevent the pregnancy we have uh, so many methods the first one is we'll recall it quickly the first one is natural method in which the sexual intercourse is avoided in the ovulation period that is 14th day to 17th day now withdrawal method or coitus interruptus that means to avoid the deposition of the semen or sperm in the vagina now other is lactational amenorrhea that means uh, during this period the sexual intercourse will not lead to the pregnancy because during lactation that is the 
sufficient formation of milk or secretion of milk in the lady after parturition and this is uh, exceptional not exceptional the condition is the lady is lactation uh, should be in the lactation period and next is barrier methods in barrier methods we have condoms cervical cap or diaphragm and condoms are both for men and women and these two methods are only for women okay intrauterine device that is iud's so in iud's again we have three types non medicated copper releasing iud's and hormone releasing iud's so this is uh, important uh, it may ask in your examination so please thorough with this concept and now uh, we will have studied the methods of contraception so rest uh, part will study in the next class thank you